Hey guys, welcome to this week's Chic on the Cheap. So I generally try to avoid Pinterest, not because I don't like it, but because I like to come up with my own ideas for Chic on the Cheap and not be influenced by anything else. But this past week I was looking on uh, Pinterest for some ideas for my kids. We had some, re some old uh, cereal boxes in our recycling pile and I wanted to come up with some cool ideas on how we could reuse them and make some cool crafts. Well, while I was on there, I saw an awesome project with old cereal boxes for Chic on the Cheap. So I gave in, I gotta show you this. Um, I modified it actually a little bit from what I found on Pinterest, but it's just too cute not to share. So this week's project is how to turn old recycled cereal boxes into small organizational containers for your drawers at home. Check it out. So here's the messy drawer that I wanted to organize, kind of full of rubber bands and bows and everything. Uh, and here's what I started with. I had an old cereal box, scissors, some, some fabric scraps, and Mod Podge, and that's about all that I needed. Uh, to start with, I took some cereal box and I cut it up into thirds. I had the bottom of the box, the middle of the box, and then the top of the box I cut into just one strip that I was going to try to make a divider. So to cover the box, I covered the ends first with some scraps and just use Mod Podge to attach it, attach it. Then I took one long strip of fabric and wrapped it around the center and again Mod Podge to attach it. Uh, then to do the strip, which I thought was easiest, I just covered that divider strip that was just one long strip of cardboard, just covered it completely in fabric and that's really easy to do. Just use Mod Podge, white, put it on with a paintbrush, put the fabric on top of that and then put a little bit of Mod Podge on the seams just like you see here to hold it in place. And once that dries you can't see it. And here's what that divider ended up looking like when I was done with it. Uh, I like that so much that I took the other section, which was the middle of the box, which was a complete rectangle, and I cut the side of it so that it was one long piece of cardboard, and then I could just wrap it in fabric just like the other divider, which was a lot easier than doing the box. So here's my finished product. As you can see, the divider and the boxes really function the same way, and I thought it was a lot easier to make the divider. Uh, and once I got all the stuff organized, I could put it like this, and it was a lot easier to access and a lot easier for Olivia, too. So that is my fun project for the week, and it turned out pretty good. And I actually found by the end of this project that I like the dividers rather than trying to cover boxes. It, they were easier to cover and had the same effect. So those were kind of my favorite part of redoing this project with my own spin on it. So thank you so much guys for watching and I will see you right back here in a couple weeks. I found some more beautiful dresses at Goodwill for my next video. So tune back in in a couple weeks and you can see the makeovers of a couple new dresses that will be for spring. So I'll see you right back here for more ways to look cheap on the cheap.